Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another late night chat. It's been way too long. I know. I, I've said this so much and I'm so sorry. Uh, but let's talk about a few things that have been going on and explain why I'm making a video tonight. Uh, just last week, I got to live out a personal dream, uh, a little fantasy if you will, in that a promotion, a wrestling promotion that is, that's run down in North Carolina, the National All-Star Wrestling Company, NASW, allowed me to come down and be involved in the show. It was quite an honor to be allowed such an opportunity. Uh, thank you to Kevin Fallen, who is half owner of the company, for taking me down and allowing me that amazing chance. I wound up refereeing the entire night, eight matches, with very few mistakes. Very few. One major mistake, but still very few mistakes. You know what I mean? So, it was a blast. I had an amazing time being out there in the ring, in the action, calling the shots, uh, getting myself pumped up and, and ready for each and every match. It was a great, great weekend last week, and I'm very pleased to have been there. I'm hoping I'll get to be able to go back again. Their next show was actually on the 30th, so I'm hoping to maybe get a chance to take it and uh, go back down if my job doesn't hinder me, that is. But what else has been going on? Well, earlier tonight, or today I guess, my friends, my two best friends, made a video for Barely Passing, and I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out of it. Uh, they, they still want to, or they still need to edit and fine-tune some stuff, pull some stuff together, and get everything the way they want it before they'll before we put it on but still looking forward to that they decided to do for their first video a top 10 list of the best hair metal bands of the 80s so that should be interesting to see what you guys think about that and how you feel about their presentation and how you feel about their overall appearance uh, on the camera and everything so they're looking forward to showing it to you. They're also looking forward to hear back from you guys. So stay on the lookout for that. But what else has been going on? Well, I have been trying my hardest to get to play this, Dead Space 3. You know, I've never... I haven't even put it in my system yet. That's how far of a backlog I have just in video games. I have so many games that I actually need to play for the first time and beat or even I want to replay some games. It, it really, really sucks. But I didn't want to play Dead Space 3 without replaying Dead Space 1. Dead Space 1, there we go. And I started playing it and it's a great game, don't get me wrong, I love the scares. Uh, you know, I picked it up and it was just like I was, you know, I had never, never put it down. The controls are easy to maneuver, easy to understand, and it's a very, very well-paced game. But the reason that I made, I'm made i making this video tonight is because I realized something that I wanted to share with you guys and get your opinions on. And that is, when it comes to playing a video game... Do you venture more towards enjoying the experience of playing the video game and getting into the story and then it ultimately, of course, beating your game? Or are you on the other side where you're a completionist? You have to do every single thing in the game. Me, my personal goal is to just beat the game and get engrossed in the story and, and feel compelled 
to want to upgrade and get the better item or the best weapon or whatever I can just to progress and get to that end and get that satisfying feeling of having completed another game. But, Dead Space has trophies. Many PlayStation, game, PlayStation 3 games, that is, have trophies. Xbox 360 has achievements. And to you completionists out there, this is where I come with the question. Because in Dead Space, what, what caught me off guard, well, it didn't catch me off guard, but it just it, it raised the question. There's an achievement for beating the game using only the plasma cutter. And there's a way, and there is a trophy, I'm sorry, to beat the game on the hardest difficulty, so hard mode. You know, not normal, but hard. And you might be thinking, okay, that doesn't sound too bad. But then, there's a trophy for having collected every single gun in the game. And then there are sub-trophies, basically, is what I call them for that, in how many things you killed with this gun, and this gun, and this gun, and this gun. So there is no way for you to earn the Plasma Cutter trophy and the Own Everything trophy in one playthrough. It, it, it's impossible. And I think there's even another one for maxing out all of your equipment, all your guns and all your, your stasis and your kinesis and your bodysuit and stuff. So, the developers of the game, EA, made a game where they installed trophies, which is fine. I don't, I don't mind that. But they are forcing completionist players to pr <laughs> to pray to play their product more than one time in more than one sitting and I, do you not feel like that's a little manipulative you know that they put such a such a tro such trophies in the game to force you to have to come back because if you do one you obviously can't do the other so you have to play again wouldn't you rather want to play the game a second time because you enjoyed it? Because the, the thrill of the scares and of the unknown that you didn't know before, you know, now you're playing again and you feel like you can be a little more prepared and you can maybe save that extra little bit of this or buy that extra little bit of that and see if you can beat the game in, I don't know, some sort of uh, handicap or something. You know, when it's a self-choice, I think that's where enjoyment comes in. But EA is not giving you a choice. If you want to be the completionist that many of, that I, I know many are, you must play the game again. Not because you liked it, not because you want to play it again, but because you have to play it again to get this one little trophy to get that overall completionist score. I don't understand why people fall for that. You know, I did play, I had downloaded DC Universe online on, on the PlayStation 3. And I bought it, and I'm not, a, I'm not an MMO guy. I tried, and it's a grinding game. It was way too repetitive. It was just absolutely boring. Like, at first it was great, but as you kept fi fighting the same enemies, or the same just different textured enemies from different organizations, you know, it got old. But then I went and re read the trophy list. Oh my god, if there's anybody that ever completed that game 100%, my hat is off to you, because they wanted you to complete the game using the Joker as the mentor, Luther, you know, and then the good, yeah, there's one more over there, and then Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. Dear God, they want you to beat this game six times. I mean, is that not insane? That game was huge. 
There's no fucking... I didn't even beat it once. I, I just wound up deleting it and, and saying, fuck it, I'm done. And they want people to beat it six times. Those completionists out there who want to get every single trophy. My God, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine beating it once, let alone twice, or six times. And that's just for six different trophies. It, it was unreal, the fact that they had that in there. And it's such a big game. Such a big game. So that's kind of the, the point of the video tonight. And, and the question I raised to you guys as, you know, as a one, saying I'm sorry that it's been so long. And as two, making it, hey, I'm back and I'm trying to be full force now. Where do you fall? Are you a completionist or do you play a game for enjoyment? I want to hear from you guys. I want to know down in the comments below where do you play a game? Do you miss the old days when you just played a game for the enjoyment? And if you wanted to play it again, you maybe bumped up the difficulty, you know, to try and get that little extra challenge so you felt even more accomplished and satisfied for beating it, say Contra? Or would you rather just play a game trying to get all these little odd and end things that really don't amount to anything? At least for the Sony, they certainly don't amount to anything. You guys with the 360 get a little added benefit because you actually can gain points and stuff and use said points to buy stuff and, and, and you have a point to earn it. We over here at Sony on the PlayStation have nothing of the sort. It's just an achievement, or I'm sorry, it's a trophy that brings your ranking up and it means nothing. It's just bragging rights, but there's no real reason to brag. So that's, that's where I'm at, guys. Achievements versus, you know, completionists versus enjoyment. Where do you fall? Which do you do? Do you know anyone of the other group? If you're a completionist, do you know someone who's not? and vice versa. If you just play for enjoyment, do you know someone who's a completionist? What do you think, guys? Let me know. Comments below. This has been a late night chat. It's always better late than never. Have a great night.